Hey, Kenyatta here. We're going to be looking at the Maya gesture control armband today. Um, it arrived on the 12th of December 2014. It was meant to arrive in November 2012, but uh, after a complete redesign, here it is. Um, let's get into unboxing this. So that's the device. Very simple stretchy uh, comes with some spacers so you can make it tighter which is probably not that necessary because it's already pretty small um, inside has some instructions and a card from the developers um, we also have the Bluetooth dongle and the charging cable. Very nice color. All right, let's plug it in and get started. Bluetooth is in. Let's put this on. You can put it on either way and change the settings. Um, so I've already installed this but we're going to go through the, not the application, the armband man manager. Let's calibrate one more time. So we're going to uh, go through and create a new profile to show you how this works. Um, I've now had this on for a while. Continue. Which arm is it on? Right arm. USB port, which is underneath the logo is pointing towards my elbow continue so let's do it make a fist space bar fist continue finger spread continue wave in wave out And rest. Fantastic. That's a calibration process. Let's see if this worked. Please wait while we calibrate. Come on. All right, so sync gesture. Sweet. How was that? Let's see. Spread. Wave, wave, fist, sweet as. Complete profile. All right, so that's set up. The it comes pre-installed with a few applications. So there is Adobe Reader, iTunes, Keynote, Netflix, PowerPoint, Prezi, Spotify, and VLC. Um, I will show you now how it works. With Spotify, so to get it working, you double tap your fingers. Come on, there we are. And start. So, double tap. Hey, come on. Change song. Oh. Change the volume. facts awesome and then we can stop it and at the moment that's um, pretty much as far as it goes uh, there's a lot of developers at the moment working on different software for it so the parrot um, drones they're creating some software so you'll be able to fly the drones with the Maya band uh, that sounds Pretty damn cool. Um, Ableton is also working on a on a patch for the Maya so that you can do live mixing with it. Um, not for me, because I'm not into music, but uh, it'll be really cool to see people use. And 
I had a, I put up a review about this um, on the day that I got it on the 12th on my website, kunyeti.com, and I'll put a link to it below. Um, there's a link in that review to the first person to use it in public, which was Armin van Buren. He had two of them on to control his lighting at his latest show. That was really cool. I'll also put a link to that below. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Uh, it's pretty cool. Lots of cool things to come. And yeah, see the future. Peace out.